there's a new tube and this is the puppy and uh, I've been recording Jerry Douglas's albums for about a little over 27 years and I heard this on a dobro it's nice and smooth but it would be just as smooth on a vocal the one thing that you want to keep in mind when you buy a microphone is the parts what goes into them all these microphones have top line parts and um, there wasn't any uh, nickeling and diming when these microphones were made. The CV4, which is a tube multi-pattern microphone. And uh, knowing the price range of it, I, I picked a, I've got quite a few microphones and I picked out a microphone, another fairly recent model microphone about the same equivalent price range and we put them up to, to uh, shoot out between them. Uh, there was no contest. I'm not going to say what the other mic was, but this, this microphone was in an entirely different league. Uh, extremely different league. Um, so then I went to my holy grail of two microphones, which I've got quite a few favorite mics, uh, old, you know, vintage uh, Telefunkens, bottle mics, uh, you know, big bottle mics, little bottle mics, um, uh, Neumann's Telefunkens, AKGs, uh, anyways, but this happens to be a Neumann microphone that's not really a Neumann inside, it's a Neumann body, but it's, it was uh, completely stripped down and rebuilt by a guy named Fred Cameron. So it's, it, it's kind of always been my go-to mic in the studio. I've probably had, you know, about a hundred different recording artists singing this and prefer this microphone over anything else. We've shot it out with, we've rented E47s, Elam 251s on, on demand and then we end up not using them and go to this Fred Cameron mic. So I played guitar and sang on both of these mics, uh, sang a couple songs. And they were so close to each other, it was unbelievable. I mean, we, when, after we were recorded and, on playback and listened to it, it, it was really hard to tell the difference between them. They're very, very, very similar. So at that point, I put this mic down. I thought, we're going to look a little harder at this microphone. So we put this mic and the C5 up together. And I went back in my uh, isolation room and did some guitar vocals with this on my J45, singing through this microphone. And the ex I have to say the experience of singing on this microphone, the CD4, and playing my old Gibson on the C5 was very enjoyable. I mean, I had, it's just the experience of actually playing the guitar and he hearing the guitar like I know how it really sounds and hearing my voice like I know how it really sounds and hearing nuances and details and overtones and artifacts and things in my voice that made me actually enjoy singing more than I have in a long time. Um, uh, one thing about a, uh, I'd have to say about a great microphone is that um, it gives you it gives you a sense of of reality of that when you're singing you get an emotional response from 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 your playing and from your singing and it actually makes it really easy to sing you know it, you just don't have to work so hard at it and um, and the more I sang on this microphone the more I got comfortable with it and, and, and learned how to work you know work around find the sweet spot on the capsule and find the sweet spot on the on the seat five for the guitar the better it got and so um, I'd have to say overall it's my listening experience from from recording to, to coming into the control room and listen over speakers was the same when I listened to it back over speakers I was going wow that really sounds like me that sounds that sounds like my guitar that sounds like my voice it's this these microphones are capturing something that I don't 
ordinarily ever hear. I mean, it, I, I've spent my whole life trying to find uh, microphones that can can give me a real interpretation of a great instrument or a great voice. I'm not including myself in that category. But, <laughs> but anyways, uh, it's it's unbelievable. Um, so what I would recommend to people is to try these microphones out and and see what your own experience is. And if, I wish I could make an offer like, if you don't like this microphone, I'll buy it back from you and I'll give you an extra $200, but I can't really afford that. So what I would recommend doing is taking that $200 and going and have your, uh, have your hearing checked, you know. Um, because if you're not blown away with this microphone, uh, uh, there's something wrong. This is one of the finest microphones to, to condenser mic, multi-pattern, the CV4 that I've ever heard in my lifetime. Now I've recorded Dolly Parton for many years and many times and I've always ended up using an FET. I have an old U87 Neumann I've had for 30 years. I've tried several tube mics past, but since Dolly's vocal is so special, it doesn't really need a lot of extra sound from the microphone. So they really didn't translate the sound of her voice so well. The C4 was immediately different. It worked really well on her voice. It had a lot of bottom and a lot of air you'd expect from a large diaphragm, but the mid-range articulation, that's, that it was just really great and sweet sounding. Together with the MicTech MPA201 Mic Pre, we captured an amazing track on Dolly.